The families of missing firefighters Brian McClooney and Justin Walker spoke today and they really wanted to thank the first responders and, and all of us on in the First Coast for all their hard work in searching for their missing family members. They were strong today and there were a few moments that they broke down just a little bit, just their voice quivered, but they were strong. And you know, as you were just mentioning, that mood today, somber, but also hopeful as mm -hmm. they spoke about their loved ones and our Kaylee Tracy joins us live tonight with the details. Yeah, Brian McClooney's family it was a somber noon today, afternoon today. They say they still have a glimmer of hope, but do say that they have suffered a tremendous loss and it will be hard for them to move on in the coming days weeks and months and they say that, that with quivering voices today they described the man they say is their hero. I will never have the appropriate words to say thank you to the thousands of people who searched for my son. Ten days after this son, brother, husband and dad went missing on a fishing trip with his friend. And the millions of prayers for my son. I have no words and I will never know all of you but I am in debt to all of you forever. Brian McClooney's family thanked everyone who helped in the search for McClooney and fellow firefighter Justin Walker. Even among loss, we find kindness, bravery, and the bonds of life that tie us together when we are tempted to feel the most alone. This experience, although tragic and heartbreaking, is a perfect representation of the power of people coming together for a common cause. They say the power of people in this search shows just how loved these men they call their heroes are. It's impossible to summarize a lifetime of brotherhood here, but I will say that as brothers go, Brian was the best. No stone was left unturned during the search. And Brian's wife Stephanie has a message for Brian's fellow firefighters who help search. I know firefighters love to fix things and make things right. They did. So all of you guys out there on boats and airplanes, everything you did. Now, private volunteers and some fellow firefighters from Brian Station here behind me, Station 31, are still searching for the two missing firefighters. And you can find out how to donate to their efforts at JFRD.com. For now, reporting on the West Side, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side.